For decades, the idea of affordability in the car world has meant giving up something important. Smaller batteries, weaker motors, and interiors stripped of comfort or innovation. But Elon Musk has never accepted that compromise. When he spoke of creating a car everyone would love, but at a truly affordable price. He wasn't talking about lowering standards. He was talking about redefining what affordable could mean. That vision came to life in September 2025 in Texas, where at Giga Austin. Enormous 50,002 presses thundered, and transformers the size of houses rolled through factory gates. While the rest of the automotive world debated whether a low-cost electric car could ever offer premium quality, Musk quietly built a production system that shattered that debate entirely. Tesla introduced a new kind of production line, one that re-engineered every element of cost, complexity, and scale to break the boundaries of what manufacturing could achieve. It wasn't just another step forward for Tesla. It was a fundamental rewrite of how cars would be made. For those paying attention, this moment marked the beginning of a new chapter in the evolution of the automobile industry. A moment where innovation wasn't about adding more luxury, but about creating excellence that everyone could afford. The question that instantly followed was how Tesla managed to make the Model 2 faster and cheaper to build while maintaining its quality and performance. For years, the biggest challenge to creating a truly low-cost EV had been the global supply chain and intricate web of international shipping, expensive imports, and months-long delays. Even Tesla's latest Model Y Juniper, released in 2025 with a starting price of over $46,000, still relied on importing about a quarter of its parts from abroad, especially batteries and electronics. But the Model 2 changed that entirely. It became Tesla's first vehicle designed and built almost entirely within the United States, cutting imported components to less than 2%. The biggest transformation started with the heart of every electric car, its batteries, Tesla transitioned from traditional lithium-ion cells to the newer, cheaper, and far more abundant sodium-ion technology. That shift meant freedom from dependency on foreign lithium, cobalt, and nickel materials largely refined and exported by China. Those raw materials weren't only costly, they carried hidden expenses that added up fast shipping across oceans. Import taxes, four-week refinery delays, and middlemen fees. Each lithium battery essentially came with an invisible global supply chain tax that every American consumer unknowingly paid. Sodium ion technology erased that entire structure in Texas alone. The U.S. produces nearly 10 million tons of salt each year. And using a mere fraction of that less than one-tenth of one percent could produce enough sodium to manufacture between 14 and 16 million 50 kilowatt hour battery packs annually. For the Model 2, the supply was virtually endless, completely domestic, and without the fear of shortages. What's more, removing overseas refinement and weeks of Trans-Pacific transport reduced the time to produce a complete battery pack from around six months to just one or two weeks. By bringing the entire battery manufacturing process from raw material extraction to final assembly inside U.S. borders, Tesla not only eliminated high import costs, but also what it called peripheral costs, like delays, tariffs, and wasted time. Sodium ion batteries were between 60 and 70 percent, cheaper to produce than their lithium ion counterparts. A typical 50 kilowatt lithium pack cost about $7,500 to build, but a sodium ion version cost only about $1,500 translating into a direct savings of roughly $6,000 per vehicle. But the real genius of Tesla's process was not only in lowering material costs, it was in how the company completely redesigned the way. Manufacturing itself happened, where traditional automakers rely on linear, step-by-step, -step production lines, extracting, refining, shipping, assembling. And integrating Tesla created a parallelized system where multiple parts of the process happen simultaneously. At GigaTexas, the vertical integration is so advanced that salt extraction in West Texas, chemical processing in Austin, and final battery assembly on the same factory campus all occur in sync. It's not just faster. It's an entirely new model of manufacturing physics. For comparison, 
Toyota's industry-leading supply chain typically cycles inventory in about 45 days. Tesla's new model to line is targeting an astonishing eight-day cycle, meaning its capital moves 5.6 times faster. Every dollar invested is reused almost six times sooner, representing a total redefinition of efficiency. In this new economy of manufacturing, speed equals profitability and Tesla has found a way to accelerate both. This revolutionary efficiency extends beyond batteries. Tesla has also slashed its reliance on imported electronics by producing its own chips domestically. Partnering with Texas Instruments, Tesla now sources custom control chips built locally in Austin. Previously, imported chipsets cost around $2,000 per car. The new localized systems range between $900 and $1,200, saving another $1,500 on every unit. But cost is only part of the story. Tesla's chips are purpose-built for its vehicle's domain-specific integrated circuits, designed exclusively for EV control systems. Unlike traditional automakers who buy generic chips and adapt them later, Tesla's bespoke chips are optimized for their software and hardware, governing motor control, battery management, and autonomous functions in perfect unison. The results are striking. Data processing speeds are 40% faster while using 30% less energy, improving overall range by up to 18 miles per charge. In short, Tesla isn't just saving money, it's extracting performance through smarter engineering. With these changes, imports across the entire car have dropped from roughly 25% in the Model Y to under 2% in the Model 2, making it almost entirely American-made. For American buyers, this transformation translates directly into savings. By manufacturing domestically, Tesla not only avoids expensive foreign tariffs, but also qualifies for powerful federal tax incentives, including a $7,500 EV tax credit for vehicles built. With more than 85% U.S. components, the Model 2's announced price of $25,000 quickly drops to under EYT10 Wubai after incentives, making it cheaper than a new Toyota Corolla. And that doesn't just save consumers money, it keeps jobs and innovation within the U.S., Reinforcing the idea that high-quality, high-tech manufacturing can thrive at home, this wasn't just an affordable carit, was the rebirth of the American factory at full strength. Equally transformative was Tesla's use of next-generation casting technology, a breakthrough that eliminated 5,600 potential failure points in a vehicle's structure. The strength and reliability of an electric car depend heavily on its frame. Most automakers build frames from hundreds of separate parts, welded together at thousands of points, each one a potential weakness over time. Tesla's model to line through that entire tradition out the window. Using the new generation of Gigapress's massive machines with 50,000 tons of force, Tesla can cast nearly the entire frame of the Model 2 in just three giant pieces, the front, rear, and underbody. This approach removes 90% of the welds seen in a standard car frame. Where a Model 3 once had over 6,000 weld points, the Model 2 now has just 400. Every missing weld represents one less weak spot, one less vibration, and one more year of structural durability. When a Model 2 drives over a pothole at 40 miles per hour, the impact doesn't hit vulnerable joints. It spreads evenly across the single piece casting, creating a smoother, quieter, and far more durable ride. Traditional automakers use 300 to 400 stamped metal parts to build a single car's frame, each needing precise alignment measured in fractions of millimeters. The problem with that is cumulative variation, imperfections stacking across hundreds of parts, creating gaps, rattles, and inconsistencies. Tesla's castings eliminate those tolerances entirely. Each piece is made with dimensional accuracy within 0.0197 inches five times. More precise than welded frames, the impact on production speed is just as dramatic. A top-tier BMW body shop requires 96 seconds and 18 robots to weld a single frame. Tesla's Gigapress casts an entire rear section in just 90 seconds using only one machine. That's an 18 to 1 improvement in capital efficiency. When you apply that across all major frame components, 
Tesla's frame production uses 83% fewer robots, occupies 67% less factory floor space, and consumes 45% less energy than traditional methods. It's not just manufacturing evolution, it's industrial revolution. It's reborn through physics and automation, and Tesla's innovation doesn't stop at the machinery. The Model 2's frame is made of TX7A aluminum alloy, a new material engineered to deliver both extreme strength and flexibility. Its yield strength ranges from 140 to 175 megapascals, and its nanocrystalline structure allows it to absorb vibration and stress through elastic deformation, ensuring the frame can handle millions of cycles of road shocks without weakening. It's also environmentally superior, Traditional automakers use multiple aluminum alloys in different car sections, which makes recycling expensive and inefficient. Each type must be separated and remelted at different temperatures, often resulting in lower quality metal. TX7A changes that TIT can be remelted directly into new car frames without losing its original strength or microstructure. This means old Model 2 frames can be fully recycled into new ones with zero performance loss achieving an industry-leading 95% closed-loop recycling rate in critical sections like a pillars, side rails, and the battery safety 